And in our Sunday Spotlight today, we remember an American treasure with a special connection to this week. Lindy Boggs, Congresswoman, Ambassador, and mother of our own Koki Roberts, passed yesterday at the age of 97. Heartbreaking tragedy forced the spotlight on Lindy Boggs. She worked hard in this campaign and anybody else, and Lindy, this is for you, for me. When the plane carrying her husband, House Leader Hale Boggs, disappeared in Alaska. Seventy planes were up over southern Alaska searching for the twin-engine Cessna. Hope I'll be half as good a congresswoman as you expect me to be. Thank you. Boggs, who had run her husband's campaigns, said she was just carrying on his work. An occasion but it didn't take her long to make a personal mark. Lindy Boggs from the great state of Louisiana. A Louisiana native who grew up on a plantation, she became a champion for civil rights and equal rights for women. The chair now recognizes Ms. Lindy Boggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Using her seat on the banking committee to get women credit cards without their husband's permission. As she told Koki, her role model was another trailblazer. You got to Washington, Eleanor Roosevelt was first lady. She, uh, of course, was my inspiration. Boggs served 17 years in Congress, the first woman to chair a political convention, then ambassador to the Vatican. What is it about John Paul that you think makes him so accessible and inspiring to this younger generation? I, I think his total rapport with them. He, uh, he, he believes in them. Boggs retired in 1990, a Washington fixture famous for her Southern charm. She never forgot lessons learned in the Louisiana she loved. I suppose all women, but mostly Southern women, do what they do when they have to do it. And you just don't think about whether you should be doing it or not. If you're called upon to do something, you do it. What a lovely presence she was. Our thoughts are with Koki and her family this morning. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the name of four soldiers killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight. I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.